Built in 1758, the church represents the exuberant Rococo style of the Braga region. The museum was created in 1928 to house the art collections of various churches in the region. Built between 1397 and 1450, the church belongs to the ancient medieval monastery. The monument celebrates the Battle of the Salado fought in 1340. This old square shows the old houses of the historic center. The old city council of the 14th and 15th centuries with their Gothic gallery. This is one of the first open streets in Guimarães. The church was built in 1685 with Baroque style evidence. Statue of the King Afonso Henriques by the celebrated Porto sculptor Soares Reis. The tradition says that King Afonso Henriques was baptized in this chapel. The castle was founded by Countess Momadona Dias in the 10th century. This majestic 15th century manor house was built by the Earl of Fons. This square is regarded today as the heart of the city. This sanctuary is a symbol of faith in the lighthouse of Guimarães. The Church of the Sameiro Sanctuary was elevated to Basilica by Pope Paul VI in 1964. UNESCO World Cultural Heritage since July 8, 2019. Choose one of these tasty traditional dishes to make your mouth water. This arch marks the memory of one of the entrances in the ancient medieval wall. The cathedral is prior to the foundation of Portugal. Here are the tombs of Earl Henrique and Countess Teresa. The palace dates from the beginning of the 14th century. Its construction lasted for six centuries. The church's construction began in 1625, but only ended in 1737. The tower is all what remains of the old castle of Braga. Dated from the 18th century, this church is considered one of the most extraordinary works of the Portuguese Baroque. Once a house of nobility, the palace dates from the 17th century. Built between 1752 and 1755, this project was by the architect André Soares. This is an exemplary single-family residential and commercial house from the 16th century. 